Hi, thanks for joining me. What we're doing today is we're carving the braces on the back of the guitar. I have already put them over here. We put the go bars on. We've glued these on here. And one of the things I would like to show you is why we've got this cockeyed. And I'll do that as soon as we spin the intro. All right, I mentioned this being cockeyed. Uh, the reason for that is because of the cutaway. On the top, it will come straight across and end over in about here. But because this is the back and we want some support in the back, we put it on an angle and that seems to work just fine. Now, this is all clamped here so that it doesn't move on me and I keep these braces to about a half an inch in height. And this one here, the bottom one, is just a tad low, but it's, it's not gonna make any difference because what I do is I do this by hand. I will bring it down with the plane, but I use the chisel here in order to take out the pieces on the end. And I'll just show you what I'm doing with that so that you know that we can do that. And what happens here is I pyramid this, bringing it up like so, because that's stronger in support of the back. So the, it's simply measured back about two and a half, three inches from where the edge of the um, guitar will form. And we do this. Now, as we cut this away, I will now plane this down and lower it to the half inch, and then I'll pyramid it so that I get good support and it makes it stronger because something that's flat and narrow will flex, it will bend more. But if there's a pyramid to it, it has far more difficulty bending, so it, it holds on there much, much better. So we're gonna do that. I will get that done, and then we will move on to the next part. By the way, the dome on this is beautiful. The arch that I've got in this dome is like so, and it goes like this. It's just perfect. I'm so excited about this. So I need to get on with this because as I bring it down to size, what I end up doing is taking sandpaper and I sand all of this right in here just to make it nice and smooth and get it all cleaned up and get it nice and pretty for the inside of the guitar. So that's it on this one. Now, I had a couple of emails I wanted to talk to you about. I've got a new email address that I would like you to consider using. The new email address is workshop safety tips at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen and I'll put it in the links down below. But what I would like is, I think we need to pay attention to what we're doing in the shop. One of the things that I've done a lot of is I've taken the chisel on different occasions and I would swing it like this and cut my hand. That's not a good idea. And you know, we got to be safe in the workshop. I don't care if you're building tables or if you're building barbecues or you're working with metal or you're working with cement or you're working with wood, whatever you're working with, you've got to pay attention to the safety in and around your shop. So if you've got some suggestions or some hot tips that you would like to pass on, I'm going to do a couple of videos where we'll share, we'll share maybe three, four, five of these tips and we'll do that as they come in. So by all means, keep sending them in and I've already received some and they're pretty good. So that's coming up in a, in a future video. By the way, this is another little jig 
this one tells me how far to cut this down here. So when you see this on here and it'll rock back and forth, it means I haven't taken this down far enough. How do I know that? Because I've taken the router and I've lowered the bit 60 thousandths of an inch and then I just cut this piece out and then I did it on this side. So I want this at the edge to be 60 thousandths of an inch because that's how far that's going to embed into the side of the guitar and we can glue that like so. So when this is no longer rocking then I know I've got it right. Now down in this corner where the two pieces are coming across and the angle and you got the one piece it's 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 like that right so you can't get in there so i just nipped off the corners and now i can get that in there and make sure that it fits so that's another little jig that's very easy to make um, it's just a piece of plywood and it's perfect and i keep it around the shop so that's it for me today um, i'm trying to cut back a little bit on, on my tea drinking only from the standpoint of trying to work with my hand. You saw in that last video, I believe I put a picture up when I reached over to pick up the mug with the one hand, and oh my goodness, it, it, it talk about redefining rock and roll, it just spilled everywhere. And it almost was totally empty, the cup, by the time I got it back down on the table, and I'm surprised actually, when I got it to the table, that both the cup didn't break and the table didn't break. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Hit the subscribe. And if you know somebody that's interested in guitars or building or working in, in the workshop and they would like uh, to join our family, by all means, come on along and, and join us. It's a great hobby and this is great fun. So let's do it. All right, I'm going to go and I will, I'll get down to this and I'll let you know when I'm done this. It won't be long. Talk to you later.